breakfast uh, that'll be here in the next five minutes and then we're gonna get out of here because we haven't even seen the beach and Hoi An's known as a beach town we've just been busy with other things um, so yeah we'll spend a few hours on the beach I'm not really one to lay around on the beach for too long it just doesn't really appeal to me but we'll go check it out and after that I've got a suit fitting at 1:30, so that's suit fitting number two and I've got one more after that later tonight at 6 30 so basically our whole day is revolving around getting our suits finished up. Laura got a suit as well. She looks really good, super professional. She thinks she looks like a 40 year old, but I think she looks like a hot office woman. You know yourself. An angry turkey on her hands. They try to sell you too much gasoline because at the end of the day, once you return your bike, they get to keep the gasoline. And so these ladies here just want to sell as much as they can. Last time they told me to get to Marble Mountain was three liters at least. They probably used one liter, so I got ripped off, but whatever, it's like two dollars. Yeah. Yeah, you get like so mad with being ripped off here, but then you think about it and you're like, it's literally like a dollar, so whatever. <laughs> so funny. So I was buying gas and I was the lady was trying to get twenty-five thousand for me, like for one liter. And I told her, like, no, it's twenty-one thousand. And I was like kind of angry because I was like, last time you ripped me off, because she actually did. She told me it was like three liters to make it to this place and back. It only took one liter. So she basically sold me two extra liters. And as soon as I told her you ripped me off last time, she's like, oh, oh yeah. And then she just laughs. And then she gave it to me for the price I was asking. So like people are really funny here. It's only like a couple dollars. We just got someone trying to charge us double for parking because we had a bike, a motorbike and not a bicycle. Cause like motorbikes are bigger. It costs more for parking, but it's literally an empty parking lot. And they're just trying to make more money off of you. But it's funny, it's not a big deal, but you just have to be really like stern and make sure you don't get pushed around, otherwise everyone will take advantage of you, but it's no big deal. Here's the beach. It's actually really, really nice. It's definitely a bit drier than the Thai beaches we've been to. It looks a bit more deserty, but it's very, very nice. And here are the boats we took yesterday. They're very weird. They look like giant teacups. Hello! Oh my gosh, we have a visitor. Conroy! Conroy! Hey boy! Hello! Oh, you're gonna be famous! Come here! Yeah, he has no interest in fame. Alright, see you later, Conroy. We just ordered a couple shakes. I got myself a chocolate banana shake coming up. And Laura has an iced coffee. This is a nice view. Very nice. Welcome to getting to know Laura. Laura, what is your favorite color? I don't have one. She doesn't have a color. It's the color of my heart, which is black. And uh, thank you for joining us today on getting to know Laura. got her blended coffee, I got my chocolate banana, Laura's also vlogging at the same time, so we are both goals. Coffee. This is what it's like to travel with us. There's two people on their cameras at all times, and we don't really talk in person, we just watch each other's vlogs. I haven't talked to Laura in about six months. That's not true. Laura, you can't talk to me, I'll watch your vlog later. <laughs> Hello there. What are you, what are you doing up there? Um, no, I, I don't think I need any glasses today, but thank you for asking. Okay, it was, it was good really good chatting with you though. Alright. What are you doing, buddy? Oh my gosh, nope, nope, no. No, he's getting nervous. Go ahead. It's a tiny rooster. Don't make a little way out of the We're actually just in the middle of the city and there's like a rooster hanging out on a sign. This is something I can get behind. What if it just like karate jumped me? Here is my second suit. This is the blue one. This is just the pant leg here and the tailored shirt. And everything fits amazingly well. The fabric's super nice and all of it for a really reasonable price range.
Yes. Look at body. Yeah, that looks yeah. awesome. Sexy? Sexy, very sexy. Very sexy. Look at those curves, Christian. Slim. Slim, yeah. Slim, sexy. Is it tighter on the arms? This is my favorite thing Christian got, which is like this trench coat, and it's pretty fly. Here, do I take a photo? And here is my Burberry look-alike coat. It's actually really nice. Um, the fabric's amazing, the fit's really good, everything's tailored to me, and uh, yeah, it'll be good for the Vancouver weather when I have to go home back to cold. So we are leaving Kimmy's now. And Kimmy's is where we both got all of our stuff done. So I got three suits, six shirts. Laura has one suit, one shirt. I also got a trench coat and three ties and three pocket squares. And it was all very reasonably priced. Like I said, it was probably about like anywhere from, I got like middle tier like to upper tier quality. So I paid a bit more, but it was about 175 US dollars, which is a bit, but it, I would easily pay at least like 500 back home for the same tailored quality and even that would be a deal back home so I'm getting a huge saving here and the best part is they do three fittings so they make sure everything fits perfectly so really really happy with the customer service here they're fantastic they even ensure and guarantee that your stuff will make it home so I'll be shipping home using Kimmy's and uh, yeah I'll have my stuff ready to be worn when I get back if you guys ever need tailored goods Hoi An is your place I might get some silk pajamas if it's cheap enough because I, you know, that'd be pretty boss to be able to sleep in silk pajamas. Except you get you on. Look, he's still here. You're still here. Can you get mad if I Why did you cross the road, man? Can I touch him, do you think? Yeah, you can touch him. Very pretty. He's kind of cute. Like normally they're scary and ugly. And he's kind of cute. Hello, come here. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Here, let me Frederick. Oh god. Frederick. 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 Oh my gosh. He decides. Okay, we're gonna leave him alone. Are we? Can we? Can we pet him? Can we touch the chicken? Is it yeah. when he bite? No. Okay, go pick it up. I'm a bit concerned. Just know he's not gonna snap his head around. Some of them he's are not his tail. Yeah, he looks. Oh, he likes it. It's definitely not a fighting rooster. No. It's more of a loving rooster. A domesticated cock. Oh my gosh, he's my favorite rooster I've ever met. He's literally just the shop pet. He just hangs out here. I want one. Laura and I are going to go explore a bit. We've got our last fitting tonight at 6 p.m. We also need to hurry up to And film. we also have to go back and film. I forgot about that. We spent a little bit extra and got something nice. We got some chicken curry for like four and a half dollars US. So very expensive considering we're in Vietnam. But... I'm Vietnam. I'm in Vietnam. I'm in Vietnam. I'm in we're getting some kimonos here. They're claiming it's real silk. I really don't know how to check. Well, there's one way. You can burn it. If it smells bad of plastic, it's polyester. If it doesn't smell, um, then it's likely silk. But I, I'm not going to make her burn her own stuff, I guess. Either way, it's 15 US dollars and they're really soft. So they'd be cozy for bed. And they'll make a nice gift. Yeah. Everywhere we go, like... I don't know if it's, a, maybe it's an Asian thing. Even in Thailand they did it, it's like, oh, you're first customer of the day, you're lucky, you're lucky. And they always try to play it up like you're the first customer and you get a better deal than the average person. It sounds like a huge sales tactic to me. But maybe it's actually a belief of theirs that uh, giving a good discount to the first customer allows them to have good luck for the rest of the day. Because that's what she kept trying to tell us, but again, I'm not convinced. But what I am convinced is that this is a cool hat. Anyway, so we got four kimonos and we got a few silk goods from the kimono store Woo! this is the little shopping area in Hoi An and it's absolutely beautiful it's one of my favorite little towns I've seen so far and it's actually quite close to China as I've said many times now but basically you get a good China vibe here because I guess there's a lot of visitors coming from China and the cultures have become quite similar isn't it so cute there's a little Japanese bridge down here. 
highly recommend visiting Hoi An, but be careful because it's impossible oh to leave here without spending all your money. Yeah, even I the swear. people we were with we were like, no, like I'm not getting anything. And then they were waiting for us and he ordered a suit and a jacket just because they were waiting for us. Yeah, our friends ended up ordering suits yeah. as well because they were waiting for us in the store. It's just impossible to leave here without getting a couple suits. The sun sets here, doesn't it? Something like that. We should... And you've got little gondolas down there so you can pay to have them take you around the river. Just catching some Z's. Hello. We will get one of those with the sugar. Yeah. yeah. Could you cut it in half? Yeah. Thank you. We're gonna try a Vietnamese donut. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you. This is actually my favorite little town, though. Like as far as everywhere we've been. I can't believe it. Why is this the first night we've been in this little town? I know we're not here long enough. Hoi An's awesome. It's such a nice place to visit. You can easily just hang out here for two, three, four, or five days. Four, four would probably have been perfect. We're here for three days, but we've been really busy with suits, with kind of biking around here. We haven't spent too much time in the actual Hoi An little city. I would have loved to spend a full day here, like an extra day would have been great. Uh, you can buy beers for like 25 cents during the day and then like happy hour, it's even cheaper. It's crazy. Two girls, we have, Laura noticed two little girls were following us and staring. And I heard one, one of them was like, no, you asked them, you asked them. <laughs> yeah, they were like peer pressuring each other to ask and I guess because they saw me talking to my camera they assumed I was a YouTuber so they just like came and followed us and we, we went up to them because we knew they were going to ask us yeah. anyways and they wanted our YouTube name so we got ourselves two extra subscribers <laughs> if you're watching right now hello two friends who we met in Hoi An Everywhere you go in Hoi An there's just suit shop, suit shop, suit shop Taylor, Taylor like it's crazy. Everything here is based on the tailor industry. So wouldn't we'll be able to pick. Could we pick up in the morning? Yeah, wouldn't we'll be finished. Yeah. Thank God I am leaving Hoi An tomorrow. I'm seriously addicted. I can't get myself out of these leather goods stores. Like I just bought sandals. I'm so close to buying a nice carry bag for uh, my laptop and all that stuff for work. I'm out of control. I need to get out of Hoi An immediately. So we have our suits all finished up. They're embroiled, so they have my initials on the inside, and they fit perfectly, so they're mine. This is one of my shirts. It's unbuttoned right now, so I'm getting casual. It's like 8.30 right now, and here we are still oh, shopping. Excellent. I'll just take it. I don't need to try it. We're addicts. Okay. Laura just bought a romper, and I got a custom-made jacket for 40 US dollars. It's super cheap. I actually recommend going to some of the local stores for things that measurements don't matter as much. Because I paid a lot of extra, like I paid a premium at Kimmy's. It's worth it for uh, like for a nice suit. But for like a jacket, it's good to go look around through the local market because they can't really screw up much with the jacket. But uh, yeah, I paid 40 US, so it's, it's perfect. It's amazing. So through Kimmy's, we can send all of our stuff and it's guaranteed by mail. So we're sending about 10 kilograms worth of stuff. It is, we have got four suits, like seven shirts, um, some other stuff we purchased along the way. It was about, let's see here, it's about $80, but we are sending like 10 kilograms worth of stuff, if not more. Yeah, so, yeah. We've got like two ties that we're holding on to, otherwise we're over the weight limit. But my GoPro is seconds away from dying, but we are doing the night market right now. And the night market's about to close, so there's not a whole lot of people here right now. And the, star the stalls are starting to close as well. But uh, tomorrow morning we leave at 7.30 and we're going to bike all the way to Hue, which is about four hours. So it's our last night here in Ho Hoi An, and it's been an awesome three days. Really love this place. Probably my favorite city I've been to in all of my time in Southeast Asia. So highly recommend Hoi An if you ever come to Vietnam. Check it out. Oh, 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 oh,